How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super scary video clips that may just give you nightmares. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Recently, our viewer, Kathy Raynard McNabb, stirred up quite the conversation with a unique photo taken during her visit to San Diego's famed Whaley House. In her picture, captured during a paranormal investigation of the property, there's a window pane where an image of a woman, dressed in old-fashioned attire, seems to appear. Known for its spooky past, the Whaley House was built in 1857 by Thomas Whaley on land that once served as a hanging site. The house's most famous ghost is believed to be Yankee Jim Robinson, who was executed there before the construction of the house. Many visitors have reported hearing mysterious footsteps and seeing ghostly apparitions, which some think could be Yankee Jim's spirit. Kathy's photo, however, may suggest the presence of another ghost. Upon closer examination, it looks like the woman in the window is a young girl in historical clothing. This observation was first pointed out by Ayla Zavaris, another viewer of ours, who noted the girl's dark curly hair, a dress with a possible shawl or white apron, and nearly see-through legs. So could this ghostly figure be a forgotten resident or a visitor from the house's past? While we can't say for sure whether the image in the window is indeed a ghost, this photo certainly adds to the Whaley House's eerie reputation. Reddit user Mongoose Capable recently shared a haunting photograph on our Slamtam subreddit that's left viewers stunned and questioning what lies beyond our realm. The photograph was captured in an abandoned orphanage known as the Carlisle House, situated in Auckland, New Zealand. Over 130 years old, the Carlisle House is shrouded in tragedy and mystery, with a rumour of a devastating fire in 1912 that claimed the lives of 43 children. In the OP's chilling photo, a white spectral figure can be seen standing in the doorway of a musty, deserted room. Mongoose Capable, a long-time lurker but first-time poster, explained how they ended up in the creepy old building late at night. Invited by friends for a bit of exploration, they entered the dilapidated orphanage, mostly unaware of its murky past. Their aim was simple – explore the beautiful yet decaying building from the inside. The exploration took an unsettling turn when one of their friends captured the ghostly figure on their camera. They didn't realise the strange capture until they were safe at home reviewing their footage and photographs. The figure appears transparent, standing in the doorway they had just passed through, sending a chill down the spine of viewers. Adding to the eerie experience, as they were leaving the old building, they heard strange sounds. Despite their scepticism, they couldn't dismiss a childlike cry echoing from the far end of a dark hallway, followed by an indistinct mumbling sound. They initially dismissed it as possible external noises, but the lack of any audible footsteps on the creaky floorboards and the echoing nature of the sounds suggested otherwise. Many who have seen the image are convinced it's something beyond the natural possibly a manifestation of the tragic past associated with Carlisle House. So could this indeed be a genuine ghost captured on camera, an imprint from the orphanage's tragic past? The decision is yours to make, but Mongoose Capable's eerie photograph adds another intriguing tale to the collection of reported paranormal experiences. This next clip is a weird little one from Instagram user Smile and Sam that's left viewers confused. Take a look and see if you can figure it out. At first, it just looks like a guy falling over on ice. However, if you watch closely, one of his legs appears to inexplicably switch right as he falls over. The capture is so puzzling, it's led some viewers to call this a glitch in the simulation, suggesting that we're all living in a computer-generated world. 
Others, however, insist it's just a trick of perspective, but they admit it's a hard one to spot, as it genuinely does look like his leg switches sides for no apparent reason. Either way, I'd love to hear your breakdowns of this clip in the comments down below. Around six years ago, an eerie encounter captured in Culiacan, Sinaloa in Mexico started making its way around social media. This version, uploaded to YouTube by user Transistus Fluvus, shows the unsettling events unfolding. <laughs> Two men in a car encounter a woman acting strangely in the middle of the road. She hisses at them, twisting and bending into strange postures. Her behaviour was so odd that the authorities were eventually called in to handle the situation. Many viewers said that she could be a witch or bruja. Witchcraft in Mexico, often referred to as brujeria, is a complex amalgamation of indigenous traditions, Spanish and Catholic influences, and African spiritual practices, brought over during colonial times. It's practiced by brujos or brujas who often utilize a combination of rituals, spells, and natural elements for healing, protection, love, and sometimes for harm. It's deeply tied to folk medicine and curanderismo, a holistic healing practice. The beliefs and practices vary widely across regions and are often stigmatized or misunderstood, yet they continue to be a significant, albeit less visible, part of Mexican culture and spirituality. Others, however, said the woman might be suffering from a mental breakdown or perhaps under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Either way, the encounter is bound to have left a mark on the two men, regardless of the situation. A viewer of ours, known as Mel Mel Melissa, has provided a piece of CCTV footage that seems to raise more questions than it answers. Melissa, who supervises a commercial cleaning company, was shocked to witness an unusual event on the security footage after all employees had vacated the premises for the night. The footage shows an eerie shadow moving within one of the aisles, an unusual sight given that the property should have been vacant at the time. What adds to the unsettling nature of the video is a view from another camera. On camera 15, which offers a different angle of the same aisle, there's a clear indication that the space is entirely empty, devoid of any physical presence that could have possibly cast a shadow. This discrepancy between the two camera feeds has left Melissa seeking advice and questioning the nature of the event. The ghostly shadow, noticeable in one feed but absent in another, sparks a variety of intriguing questions. Could this shadowy figure be a paranormal entity making its presence known? Or could there be a more rational explanation, perhaps a technical glitch, an unnoticed object, or an unusual play of light and shadow? At this point, the source of the shadow remains an enigma. As we dive into the realm of the unknown, it becomes a challenge to strike a balance between the possible and the supernatural. Is this an actual shadow figure, a ghostly apparition caught on camera, or is it just an ordinary incident wrapped in the veil of night and mystery? It's up to you, the viewers, to form your own interpretations. Uh, yeah. Reddit user Tony Stark 77 recently shared a curious video on a Slaptam subreddit that left viewers initially scratching their heads. The video, taken during a seemingly normal kayaking trip, showcases a startling aquatic spectacle. Take a look. A 
As the footage shows, the calm kayaking experience takes a sudden turn when something sizable swimming beneath the surface is startled. The creature, or possibly creatures, begin splashing and thrashing in the water, causing an unexpected and wild display. Upon first viewing, the strange occurrence is puzzling, raising questions about what could be responsible for such a bizarre event. However, some astute viewers proposed a plausible explanation, an aggregation of manatees. Manatees, gentle giants of the sea, are known to react with panic and vigorous splashing when startled. Their sizable bodies could easily cause the water disturbance seen in this clip. While the video offers an intriguing glimpse into nature's unpredictable character, the consensus leans towards manatees being the star of this unusual aquatic show. Before we take a look at some eerie footage that many say shows a cursed doll, remember to hit that subscribe button then, tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. In a departure from his usual content, TikTok user Sinisteer has shared a series of videos that are causing quite a stir on the platform. These clips feature a vintage doll he purchased from a thrift store, a doll that he suspects might be haunted due to inexplicable movements and noises associated with it. Sinister explains that he's often noticed the doll moving out the corner of his eye or heard strange sounds emanating from its direction. In one video, he managed to record the doll while it was making sounds and moving seemingly of its own volition. There it is. All the more chilling, the doll resides within an unopened box, making any secret manipulation unlikely, a detail that has some viewers convinced of the footage's authenticity. There it is. The history of haunted or cursed dolls isn't new. Perhaps the most famous is Robert the Doll, a century-old doll residing in Key West that is allegedly responsible for various misfortunes and strange phenomena. Such tales continue to captivate and terrify people around the world. Interestingly, in another video, Sinister reveals a live camera feed seems to glitch when pointed at the doll. Camera uh, on the doll. When I record, it's fine, but it keeps doing that and I can't figure out why. It's never done that before. Though recorded footage appears perfectly normal. When I record, it's fine, but it keeps doing that and I can't figure out why. It's never done that before. This anomaly remains unexplained and adds to the growing intrigue surrounding this seemingly innocuous vintage toy. But it keeps doing that and I can't figure out why. It's never done that before. Sinister is not claiming to offer proof of ghosts, merely sharing a fascinating sequence of events that defy easy explanation. So the question remains, could this thrift store doll be harboring a spirit, manifesting through movements and twitches, or could there be a more mundane explanation? As is often the case with such mysteries, the final verdict lies in the eyes of the viewer. There it is. Now, if you love mysterious videos, then check out the rest of our catalogue. There's an episode right there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist there you can binge on. Now, if you love what we do here at Slapped Ham, then consider supporting us through a YouTube membership. There's a little join button there that lists all the perks of our channel. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 